this this house is going to attract somebody with um, European sensibilities, somebody who likes the high ceilings, the openness, the light, um, the free flow of the rooms. This house really is not for somebody who wants to live in a traditional colonial. The open space of this house really uh, facilitates parties and gatherings really well. Uh, family gatherings, Christmases, Thanksgivings, parties. Um, we've even held uh, music recitals here in this house. Um, so uh, it's, you know, it has great acoustics for that kind of thing and um, allows people to mingle and move very freely, unlike t traditional colonial houses where you're sort of locked into single rooms. This house is an incredible house uh, from the vantage point of having a lot of things to do out in the great outdoors, right at your doorstep. So directly across the street is a, a pond called Weld Pond that was built by a general weld back in the 1870s when he returned home from the Civil War. Uh, back when labor was a little bit cheaper than it is now. Um, it's also stocked to the gunnels with uh, large and smallmouth bass. Um, directly behind the house in this direction is uh, a combination of different pieces of conservation land. First one is Wilson Mountain, which is owned by the DCR, and that's about 215 acres. There's also land that's owned by Northeastern University and land that's owned by MIT, which was one of the recipients of a major grant that was done by the Weld family. But I find uh, on weekends, my family and I will go out and roam around in the wilderness. Uh, in the morning, we'll come in for lunch, and then we'll take our canoe and go out and canoe around out on the pond here across the street from us. But it's great to have it all right outside your front door or back door.